Oh yeah, I heard there's one down there. There's uh, another one over in Columbus. Really? It's just growing, man. I will shit if I hear about one in Indianapolis. <laughs> Why is that? Are you from there? Uh, I am from Indiana, yeah. I went to school in Indianapolis. Guess from the sign, but maybe back up a little bit. Uh, what, why, why did you come here? I'm actually a former debater, so my general policy in life is I won't participate in something I can't defend. When the protest started up in New York, I started following along, listening to what people were saying, doing some reading on it, and at the end of the day, I decided not participating was indefensible. So I decided to come down. I mean, if you listen to all the grievances, all of them come back to one root cause. So we had come from different walks. But the problems we're talking about occur because corporate money influences the way our policies are developed. And those policies are developed in the interests of that corporate money and not the people that the government is supposed to represent. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> Thank you. What do you hope that, that it comes out of all of these protests? Because I've been, I've been reading about protests across the country. Well, there's, there's the policy level and there's the attitude level, right? On a policy level, until we can institute meaningful uh, reform as far as corporate finance and politics and our mixing, none of the other issues we're talking about will ever be solved. Because those problems, the policies we develop to solve those problems, can't be implemented when the people implementing them are being corrupted. So the, the finance coming from the corporate world into politics needs to be solved first. But on an attitudinal level, this protest is about the people reclaiming this country and their own. 